Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. Today I am going to have a go at putting some resin on a couple of pieces here. Um, so I have never done resin before. This is the Art Resin by uh, Just Resin. So I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. Uh, let's get started. Okay, so I picked up a few safety items. Um, and because I wear glasses, I was hoping this one here would cover my glasses just to protect my eyes. And then I've also got this mask here, which is a N95 mask. So I believe that's the type that you need, but I might, if I'm going to do more of this, I might get one of those uh, big ones. Yeah, so anyway, I might get um, something a bit more decent. Um, but I've got five of these for now, so I'm going to try them out. They've got the respirator. I, I, I don't know what it's, what's it called. It is called, yeah, it's a cool flow valve with the inside res, respirator cooler. Okay, so that's what that is. Um, I'm going to. This is uh, two parts to one part, so I'm going to pour them out first to make sure I've got the right amount and then I'm going to mix it for three to four minutes and then I've got to set the timer for 40 minutes because that's how long I've got to do these. Now if I have any left over, I've got this little um, silicon mould, so I might make some jewellery. We'll see. Alright, gloves. Now I've seen a lot of people online double up gloves for putting on the resin. I've also bought myself a heat gun so um, I'll be using that as well to get the bubbles out. These feel quite tight already. I might I might do the second glove with just your average gloves. These are the nitro gloves which um, are important for chemicals. So I might do the clear one over the top, just as the backup. Oh, my hands are going to get nice and hot in this. Okay, double glove done. There we go. Okay, and now my mask. Wow, this is uh, full on, actually. <laughs> Right, it fits, it actually fits quite good. Right, now put the glasses back on. All right, so I thought I might go with, let's go 360. So I'll need 240 and 120. Okay, that will work. I've got my silicon mat down to test out with the resin. Oh, okay. How does that work? Oh, it's like a plug. Lots of bubbles. Definitely going to need that heat gun. Now, if you saw my paint mixing video, you might have been worried about how I was going to pour that. So I made a big mess with my tub of Liquitex pouring medium. So that's part A, and this is part B, and this is half the amount. Combine two parts resin, one part hardener. Stir for three minutes and then 40 minutes working time. Gently remove bubbles with heat torch. Let stand for 24 hours for touch dry and cure in seven days. Okay, so you know I've never done this before. I've got uh, the windows open as well. Um, so you might hear more outdoor noises than usual. Wasn't expecting these plugs. They're a good idea though. 
The reason I'm measuring it in two first is because if I accidentally put too much in, then uh, I don't waste the whole lot. So this needs to be, so I did 240 and we need 120. This is in milliliters. Okay, one part to two parts. Uh, I put a fraction too much in that. I don't know how close it has to be. Because I've also put a fraction too much in that, but I, that could do with 10 more mils. Does it have to be perfect? It's going to be hard to put 10 mils in that. Actually, once I tip this out into there, there'll be a little bit of residual, so it should be fine. Okay, I've got a timer there for four minutes and I'm going to start it and then I'm going to tip that in. We've got to be all ready to go. I've got my heat gun here, got my two canvases ready. I've got some, some uh, possibility of doing some jewellery, I don't know. Alright, let's go. And then I probably, once I finish mixing it, uh, I don't know which way around I'm supposed to pour it. Does it matter? I'm tipping the hardener in. It says to mix um, until there's no stringy bits and not to, I'm just like stirring it reasonably slowly because if you go fast you're going to get lots of air bubbles. Actually I did actually buy proper sticks for this, forgot about that, some that you can clean off. Oh, well, I'll fast forward this because um, fast forward this so that uh, you don't have to sit there for four minutes watching me stir. Everything's a bit tight on my head. It's only for 40 minutes though. Yeah, I uh, take my hats off to uh, these resin artists and to gear up with all the uh, stuff all the time. And uh, one thing I did forget to do was wipe my canvases down. Oh dear. I don't know if I want to do that now because I don't want water left on it. So I need time to air dry. Because I've only got 40 minutes now. Yeah, that's time. All right, I've set my stopwatch now. All right, so you can see there is bubbles in there, but I'm hoping I can work them out with the heat gun. I'm just going to stir it a little bit more. Now I should have showed you that uh, I picked this canvas here because I've got this white lump there on the corner. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but I tried to repair the canvas after by adding some white and it ended up being a lump. And I'm curious to see whether whether if that will become less noticeable. Alright. Let's have a go. I've got two here. I'm going to use the stick to spread them a bit and then finish it off with my hand. I guess. There you go. Oh, this is scary. So 
I'm not sure how much to use. Now, it may be a little bit colder than uh, the working that you're supposed to use, the working temperature. So I don't know how much that will affect it either. So I do them both together, or well, one at a time. Oh no, the other thing I forgot to do, and oh, I'll learn this again next time. I could do it with the next one actually. I've got time, I have to re-level it. I didn't put tape on. I'm just going to put tape on the bottom. Right. Uh, okay. How much time have I got? Alright, I'm only five minutes in. So, let's take the pins out of this one. And quickly. Oh, no. Quickly tape it. I do want to practice getting the tape off after it's been resined. Alright, that is not enough to get the bubbles out. Oh, there we go. Just needed some time to warm up. be more for doing the art, I would say. I'm not sure how to get these bubbles out. a few bubbles. Alright, what I might do is get this one done and then, uh, then I can keep working on the bubbles because I'm not sure how well I'm going to work in the time period. We're in, we're only 10 minutes in, that's not too bad. So 
it's been sitting a little bit longer now. Where's my stick? I can't imagine doing this on a big piece. I forgot to re-level this. Oops. See, I'm making all these mistakes. I don't even know if you can see this one if it's in the camera. Hopefully it is. All right, how are our bubbles going here? I do still have a little bit left, so we will be having a little go at doing the jewelry, why not? It is uh, making them look vibrant though. Let's try it on the fire. the whole thing oh there's so many bubbles and I look at it this way I can't quite tell I need to get a torch probably to check the sides okay so I've just um, been blowing these with my torch and I've got most of the bubbles out now I think I've also added, uh, I don't know if you can see all the way over here, but I put, um, I put some resin into the mold and I've just popped a couple of skins on top that I'll have to cut out afterwards. But I've still got a little bit of resin left, so I have some pigment paste and I'm going to try mixing that in and filling up some of these. Why not? Oh, I wasn't expecting it to be quite so thick like that. Ah. Okay, let's give it a whirl. <gasps> Whoops, that's probably a bit much. I don't know, let's find out. Wow. Wow. That's a pretty purple. That will be plenty of that pigment paste. Okay, I'm just checking again. Oh, I've had to pull a couple of hairs out. I've got two cats and I think they're going to be a problem. Got that. Look at this. really pretty can you see that don't, please don't drop it wow so i don't know how that's going to look in there let's just pop a few more bubbles because there's always more right but this is looking really pretty and i know this is the corner i fixed and i think you guys are right i think it will hide it oh my purple hands now. Okay, let's try tilting this in. This is gonna have some bubbles in it too, I would say. Wow. I hope I haven't put too much of that stuff in though. It might make a difference on how it cures.
Might as well just use it up, eh? As we get to check all the shapes and how easy they are to get out of this mold. And finish off. How much is there? I could have made a bangle. I did buy a bangle, but I think it's going to be too big for me. I've got small wrists. All right, so that's it for the purple. Oh, I could chuck a bit in there. Oh, I'm very tempted actually. And blow it with the heat gun. What's the time? I've got 10 minutes. Ooh, what do you reckon, guys? That would be a great test. Oh. Oh my god. All right, let's do it. Just let's start with just a little bit. Just a little bit through here. Here. I don't think they are going to pop. They're so they're like um like really tiny bubbles. That works. I do like purple. Yeah, just added a bit of colour in there. Alright, how's that time going? 37 minutes. I think that's it, guys. I don't think I can touch this anymore. I think maybe I did that a little bit too late, but uh, it didn't quite move the way I was expecting. So that was good practice. And I'm hoping that this. Uh, Silicone will just peel off this mat when it's dry. So I'll bring it back when it's dry. Okay, so I've let it sit for um, over 36 hours um, because it's a bit cooler here in Australia at the moment. I wanted to make sure I left it for a good amount of time. And I have started popping out the little uh, purple pieces of, from the jewelry making. Um, these didn't work well because I had air underneath so unfortunately they didn't quite work um, but I'm glad I did all these because now I can use them as a template to cut out my skin and then sit it in there properly so I will do that um, I'll show you how easily they pop out so I did leave a few. Let's do this one here. See? And then it's got the hole in it. So I'll have to get some rings or something. Um, if I do this again though, I won't do one single colour because um, it looks a bit plain. So either I can put something in it or Good. I, there's a, like a little, um, I don't know if you can see just there, it's, it's a hole. I'd say maybe that was a bubble, possibly. So I managed to get the bubbles from the top. Oh, this one will be nice. That's nice. Yeah, I like that one. Hmm. So... Yeah, another one with, I'd say, a bubble. That'll be something to um, be mindful of. I don't know. Maybe I'd have to, like, mm, I'm not sure how I would deal with that. This one's, 
See, these, these sunk. Like, yeah, I guess it all contracts when it dries. Anyway, so that's those. I'll have to work out the best way to clean the mold. Now, um, I did peel a bit off of my mat, so I know it works well, but I didn't want to peel the whole thing off until I had the camera going. Oh, this one has started to come off. So, this is just baking paper, and that's, um, that's how it looks on the back. So, hopefully... I've just put my fingers all over it. I need to get some of those um, cotton gloves um, so that when I'm handling it, it's, I'm very careful. Yeah, so there you go. I don't know if you can see. You can see the reflection. Um, okay, I decided to put some, just some of the ordinary gloves on. Um, just for handling everything so I don't get that stuff just looking at the side here I think I've got a couple of bubbles here in the side might be a bit difficult for you to see I managed to get them all out of the front but uh, well, it looks nice there a bit of a thicker coating there I see Okay, so I think when I rub down the sides, probably need to be a bit more liberal. There's definitely a bubble there, and I'm going to have to torch the sides as well. I'm just going to get rid of this because that's got some of that hardener on it. Uh, I don't know how easy it is to get these pins out. Oh, jeez, wasn't expecting that. Okay, that could be a problem. I wasn't expecting it to be quite so hard. Because when I was playing with this yesterday, it was very bendy and now it's just snapped. So there you go. It definitely needed that extra time to cure, but Maybe it would have been best for me to try and get these out while it was soft. Hmm. All right, let's take this one off. Oh, that came off very easily. So, this one. Ooh, I can see something just there. Don't know what's what that is. I think that's the only spot though. It's pretty good. The sides could have covered this up a little better, I think. Um, this one I didn't put any tape on the bottom, so I've got some some drips underneath. There's some some bubbles there so I've really got to torch the whole thing I concentrated on the top that's pretty isn't it now I put the purple through here um, it's bled out a bit I wanted to try and keep it into here but it has bled out um, it looks good through here though but yeah it's a way of adding a bit of extra color I guess but I have to be careful how much I put in, I'd say, because it, uh, it was a little bit tricky. It's brought a little bit up through here and here even. But yeah, this one, the color, the vibrancy now has come back to life. And I had that bump in the corner. I can still see it just, but it's definitely not as bad as it was. So, so these were more of test pieces for me. Um, and this one, should we have a go at taking off the taking off the tape? All right, let me get set up for that. 
Okay, so I've got my heat gun out. I'm going to turn this upside down. I've put a sheet down to protect the face of it. I think we can take these out now. And so I have got these concentrate, uh, like a concentrator type thing that came with the heat gun. So we could try that. All right, let's give it a go. work. Now, I don't think you need the concentrator but I thought it would come in handy keep the heat right in one spot along the edge there. there we have it. Now the back would have probably looked a lot better if I'd taped it off originally. So, but still, this was practice. I feel like I've probably covered the edge. Oh, a little bit. Ooh. That's where a bubble was. Hmm. But yeah, nice and shiny. This one in particular, I like the way the black colours came back to life. Yeah, so that's it. Um, I think I need to write myself a little checklist for next time that I do this, um, which will be taping up the backs, making sure that they're both level, um, doing the sides like applying a bit more to the sides make sure I uh, get the bubbles out of the sides as well as the top yeah You're just looking at the shine of the these bits going through it's quite pretty and this was really lumpy and now it looks looks good it's still got like a texture through it but it, um, yeah, oh, I like it. All right, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Maybe you learnt something. Um, and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye.